Hello and welcome my beautiful Cancers. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the month of July. So yes, we're getting you're getting monthly readings now instead of weekly. So I'm incorporating every week into one for the month so you can uh you can move these cards around as you so please if you see they resonate in different positions by all means take that liberty to do that some of this will resonate with some of you and some won't so that's how it works well let's see what we have here for our our energy card here for our automatic writing what do you need to see know and expect my beautiful cancers all right, what have we got? Take back your power. So there's been a situation perhaps around you where you felt consumed, overwhelmed, and preoccupied with something in your life. It could be someone or a situation. And it's time now to not keep obsessing about that or putting all your all your eggs in one basket. It's time for you to take care of business for yourself. You may have put yourself on the back seat to do this. Uh, you might have done this for many reasons for some of you. But now you have the ability to step up into your own space. Standing on your own stage, standing on your own platform now, not being afraid to take what's yours. This is your right. This is your birthright to do this, my beautiful Cancer. So if you've been preoccupied with your mind on other things or a situation or one person, it's time now to say, hey, <clears throat> I matter. So you're going to allocate time for you. Okay, so do that. Take your power back. Don't allow yourself to be pushed and pushed and pushed until finally you become resentful or you regret doing this. As we move through this reading, we'll see what this exactly what this is going to involve. So your first oracle message is the bull. And the bull says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So if there's something that you're being talked out of, or there's something that you're procrastinating, or if there's something that you feel you want to do, and maybe that is taking back your power here. Don't back down. This is your, this is you having the ability with your free will to do as you please. This can also mean that there could be somebody who is trying to bully you or trying to provoke you or trying to become opposing energy around you. Uh, you might be, they might be trying to convince you to do something. So if this is something you don't want to do, my beautiful Cancers, you're very intuitive. Trust that intuition and don't back down. Okay, this is, this is, you, you need to protect your corner here. All right, stand in your corner and protect it. You have a territory here to protect whatever that is. Continue doing that. Coming in next, you have the cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you're going to be protected. You're always protected. You're so spiritual, Cancer, that you've got higher power standing around you, shining their light on you, protecting you. So know that there, this could be spirit that's protecting you or there could be the powers that be or people around you who support you in your end of the ring that are protecting you as well. Coming in next, you've got the fox, and this is about shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business, keeping your wits about you, um, being sure to cross your T's and dot your I's and get your ducks in a row uh, before you jump into any sort of business situation uh, or spending of money that could end up with loss or, or um, <clears throat> failure here, they're telling me. So stand up for yourself. Know that you're protected. Maybe you're going to be getting some insurance for something here so that you know you are protected. Uh, there may be a signature coming in on a contract that will protect you. But I do think that you have to be resourceful and shrewd here, especially when you're dealing with money or contracts that could have to do with signing things like that, that have to do with your money leaving your bank for whatever reason. Now, <clears throat> your final card is lovely. You've got the tulip and this says great passion. So you may be feeling really excited and your creative juices this month are really going to be coming to forefront, which means there's going to be something coming in that's going to make you so elated, so happy, so joyful, and you're going to want to jump on it with great passion. So something wonderful is going to happen this month. I love it when the great passion card shows up. This can be passionate about a lot of things. So, I mean, it can love, be love or hate or <clears throat> passionate about not wanting to do something, passionate about wanting to do something. So there's many ways that passion can come in okay now in your first week or first row whatever way you want to read it here for this month of July you have the king of wands you have the moon and you have the the beautiful uh, knight of cups so 
<clears throat> excuse me, the King of Wands is the is the energy here and and this could be um you know this this could be uh, an aries leo or sagittarius energy around you uh but the king of wands is the information coming into you the message from these cards and source and power that you need to step up and take leadership here now again that has to do with taking your power back okay standing up for yourself living your life the way you want to do it being where you want to be in the relationships you want to be in it where you want to live geographically your job your position all of those things okay being in charge now I've, I've told you this over and over again the king of wands goes big or he goes home he's not afraid uh he goes after what he wants with impulsiveness and and feeling that excitement here with this great passion card that you've got stay optimistic okay there could be something coming in there could even be unexpected money or an income coming in that surprises you but it's great achievement here okay <clears throat> this could also be someone here as i said uh, an, Aries, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who inspires you. They may be coming up with something exciting for you to get involved in. So this is beautiful. There's times, <clears throat> now this is the third eye with this beautiful King of Wands, but you've also got the third eye with the moon. And this, they're, they're, this is seeing things clearly with the King of Wands, but then you get the moon. And the moon says, mm, do I do this? Don't I do this? Mm, maybe it won't work. When's it going to happen? And you start to create this disillusion in your mind. Now, this is all about telling you that you have the resources here to do what you want you know the wolf and the dog are depicted with them the dog knows what he's been taught he's got that book of knowledge from everything he's been taught and he remembers that he can go back and refer to it the wolf remembers you know getting stung by the bee when he wanted to go after the honey so <clears throat> there's going to be things that you're going to tap into that are going to be resourceful here to help you move yourself forward what is it what is it that you're doing you want to change you know maybe you're changing your resume maybe you're calling in uh, you're calling in a favor. Maybe you're wanting to go to a new job. Uh, whatever the case is, um, you're not. You don't want to fall back. You want to be able to see the light. So the moon says, get all the information you can, so that you're not worrying about about anything. Do what you have to do first, and then just sit back. Okay, it's going to happen. It'll unfold. The sun's going to come out again. You know, it's always darkest before the storm. But I'll tell you, when that moon comes out, it illuminates absolutely everything that it that it shines on. You're going to see it the light again now you've got a beautiful card here with the with the beautiful romantic knight of cups you had the knight of wands moving forward being passionate going after your goals not being afraid here you know you can do it now this knight of cups shows in and this could be a cancer scorpio or a pisces that shows up here and <clears throat> they come with beautiful beautiful energy this could be somebody who's coming in here who is romantic this could be the love of your life this could be your knight in shining armor that comes in and sweeps you off your feet this could be a new person coming in for some of you but for others this could be your significant other that surprises you with a proposal an offer to be exclusive an offer to get married to move in together but this can also be an invitation to take action and move forward towards what you love okay following your heart's desire here what is it you want to do where do you feel the happiest my beautiful cancers okay so having that attraction to go after your goals this month are very important whatever those goals are whether it's you want a new relationship whether it's you want your relationship to improve whether it's you want a better job whether you know you're doing something you're going to travel the world whatever the case is this is about you loving that situation but for some of you this could be the love of your life coming in here as well now let's clarify that let's see what we have here for clarification we've got the star so you are the star my beautiful cancers and this is about realizing that things are going to start to show okay things are going to start to show up you're going to be able to see a clear clear sight line here you you know this is about you shining in the light and wishing for a star and staying positive about it okay don't be afraid to dream big here because I do think that you have this ability to stand in your light, shine it out there, and you're going to see a clear, a clear sight line. Whatever this goal is you're going towards this month, stay, stay focused on it. Because this King of Wands, he's very focused. Know you have the resources here and the talent and the gifts in your database here to go after what you want. And don't be afraid because this is something you truly want to love to do. Okay, you're going to want to love to do it. So, marketing yourself, getting yourself out there letting the powers be know who you are what you have what experiences and what gifts you have to offer to this situation or them okay don't be afraid to do that now coming in in your next row which could possibly be the second week of july <clears throat> you've got a lot of 
fire energy here. You've got the Eight of Wands and you've got the Two of Wands, but you've got this Leap of Faith card starting off in the beginning here. So the Eight of Wands says, you know, this is an ongoing battle, something that you've been working on, something that's been concerning you, uh, and you're carrying that energy still with you because it hasn't happened yet. You're waiting for it, and you're battle-weary. You're tired of this weight. You're tired of this battle within yourself and waiting for something to come in, but you're close to success, okay? Stay persistent. Persevere. You know, don't be afraid. Don't back down. Don't give up. Whatever this is you're waiting for or you want, stand your ground. Okay, don't try to back, don't, don't, don't give up. Don't throw your hands over your head and say, I'm going to give up. No, never give up. Gather your strength and fight in your corner here. This is your last stand and you are very resilient. Okay, don't give up. And, you know, when we look at this card, it's, it's the card of, you know, the crown chakra of saying, or pardon me, no, it's not. This is, the, this is the sacral chakra, which says, I feel this way. I feel down. I feel I want to give up. I feel that I can't move forward. But this card saying you can Okay, so don't give up. And if your dream is, you know, if your dream is following a path, you might be indecisive here. When we talked about the moon, often that comes with in, indecisiveness. You can't make this, you, you can't make a decision. And there's two paths and two decisions and maybe two options that you need to plan. You're wondering as you look out, is the grass greener? Will I find a better job? Will my relationship get better? Can I, will I find someone new? Will moving away from this location improve my life? Uh, it depends on, on what it is you want to do, but you're deciding, do I stay or do I go? Okay, maybe some of you are thinking about leaving your job and you, you know, you're thinking, ah, you know what, they've offered me a bit more money here. I like the people, but you know, uh, the benefits aren't great. So whatever the case is, you may feel a little bit re re uh, restless right now, but I want you to think, Cancer, how far and the fight that you've made to get to here. So don't give up. You're going to be able to see a clear sight eventually. Okay. I know you're feeling a little bit discouraged right now, but don't give up. You know, the leap of faith says, you know, and this is the crown chakra, being able to get up in your mindset to realize that you want freedom. You want to move forward. You're going to go after it. Some of you could be planning a trip or thinking of wanting to travel uh, the globe. This is about you being committed to, to and being spontaneous to go after what you want. Now, I always say with, the, with the, the fool, don't be a fool. Make sure you've done all the preparatory work. You're not going to jump off that cliff without checking your parachute. Or you're going to make sure that everything's going to be fine for you to take this leap of faith. Whether it's to go into the new job. Whether it's to go in a new relationship. Whether it's to travel the world. Whether it's to move. Whatever the case is. It can be anything. Don't give up. Okay, and that's exactly what the Eight of Wands started to tell you. You've got a goal here. You want to see things improve. You want to be happy, and it will come in. You just have to be patient. Okay, I know that sucks. I hear you. Now, coming in with your clarification, you got the gift card, and this is the card of waiting because this person here has put out a proposal, an idea, or something out there, and he's waiting. Oh, geez, and he starts worrying. Did they receive it? How did they receive it? How are they going to respond? You know what? This card says it's unnecessary worry. Whatever you've put out there, my beautiful cancers, be patient. It's going to come in. Okay? It's coming in. Now, in your third week, or the third row here, you've got the Two of Pentacles, you've got the Devil, and you've got the Hermit. So, you know, the, 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 here we go with the Two of Pentacles, and that's saying your mind's going around and around, and you might be trying to balance the thoughts in your head, or balance uh, money in your life. Maybe you're bouncing back and forth, you know, thinking about money, uh, having to put it this account or that account, or stretching your money to get the most out of it. Uh, this can be financial decisions you're making which can sometimes bring on financial stress, right? But it's also the card because it's duality, partnership, thinking about uh, the, the sharing of money, maybe. Maybe you've got a dual account or maybe there's a double income in the family, whatever the case is, or you could be dealing with money with another person. But this is about you being resourceful and there will be some ups and downs, okay? You have to be adaptable. You have to be flexible because you're juggling things now in life as well. You could be transferring money around somewhere to somebody and that might have you concerned too. But this is a card that says don't bite off more than you can chew, okay? Start to write out those to-do lists and tick them off one at a time so that you are comfortable with that. Pace yourself. But 
The duality card here is, again, there could be two choices, two options, two offers, and two decisions that you're going to be making. Third eye again, right? Being able to see clearly. Devil comes in, right? Devil comes in with the root chakra. Getting down to basics here. What's bugging you? What truly is the issue here? Cancers this month that's starting to eat away at you and really get you down. This is a card that says stop dealing with that. Let go of that addictive thinking. That that thinking that gets you down. We all get those days, but if it's grabbing a hold of you, it's going to drag you down that dark hole, that black hole. So ch cut those chains out, okay? Let go of it. You don't want to get into an issue here with poor health issues or depression or anything like that. This card says you're going to make healthy decisions and choices now. You're not going to get tempted to do things that aren't good for you emotionally spiritually or physically because if you look back with hindsight if you've overindulged in something you shouldn't have uh it's going to pay off if you're overeating and you put those pounds on or if you're drinking too much and you're not you're not in you know complete sobriety and clarity or whatever the case is i mean we've all done things like this right i mean i'm a pisces we're the most addictive sign on the zodiac so that's why i keep myself as clean as i can because I'm, I'm a Reiki healer and I cannot allow myself to do that. So <clears throat> that's me personally. That's just me. But you're going to be letting go of something here that is holding you back. Whether it's a toxic relationship, whether it's a job you despise, whether it's a friend who's no longer being faithful to you, they're deceiving you, whatever. Okay, you're going to let that go. If it's poor eating habits, if it's not getting enough exercise, if it's the way you think every day, if it's negative, you're going to change that for the better. The hermit says you've thought about something for a long time here. And it might be, you know, I need to get rid of this monkey off my back. I need to get rid of with the devil card. I need to get rid of that and get down to the basics here. Why, why, am I allowing the, why am I allowing myself and enabling myself to get caught up in this? What is the reason I'm doing this? And that is the root chakra. Finding out what the hell's causing you to act this way or allow people in your circle that are like that might not even be you okay <clears throat> hermit taking a time out pull back okay this person here if there is somebody around you that tends to be overwhelming and and um they're saying manipulative <clears throat> they're saying yeah wow they're telling me that there could be for some of you someone around you that is toxic and you know being the nice person that you are cancer you would rather just put up than have to deal with it so the hermit comes in and says now you're taking things personally and you're taking things carefully and you're thinking about things you're going to see now what you need to do what is it you need to do truly it could be the job could be the move could be the trip could be the relationship whatever the case is okay you're soul searching right now and you're tapping into higher self and spirituality here and i do think that you're going to be able to see the light you're you know you have this ability to light the path for other people my beautiful cancer so now it's your chance to do this for you Okay, sometimes this is a time out from a relationship that can be overwhelming too. But you're going to be finding the right people, the right mentors, the right team that's going to support you as you move forward. Beautiful. Now, let's see what we have here for this one. You've got the Eight of Wands. So again, get out of your way. Step out of your way. Stop worrying. You had the Eight of Wands. Now, pardon me, you have the Eight of Swords. So this is allowing your thoughts to get carried away thinking that things aren't going to work out and constantly being <clears throat> being burdened with this on your mind <clears throat> and it affects everything it affects all your demeanor it affects your concentration it affects on it uh, it affects how you communicate with other people and how you feel about life in general so let go of it there's nothing holding you back there's nothing pinning you down there's nothing stopping you from being happy and going after what you want so with the devil you're making really good responsible decisions choices here yeah thinking long and hard about something this month now let's see what we have here for our last week or the last <clears throat> row you've got the king of pentacles you've got the three of pentacles and you've got the star card this is beautiful twice you get the star card so if you're concerned about money money's going to be okay or it may even be great because the king of pentacles is grounded and he's made his decisions and he works well with money and he lands on his feet and comes up smelling like a rose no matter what he gets into okay because he's careful he's got that he's always secure about himself and he's successful often this refers to success as a business person here okay he is he's a su successful businessman here but you're bettering yourself you're doing something to give yourself more financial security here 
whatever that is, cancer, whether it's taking on that new job or you've got a side passive income or a gig that you want to do to make money on the side. Ask yourself, what is it I have that I could be doing on the side? Maybe it's an online business. Maybe it's a healing business. Um, maybe it's consulting. Maybe it's, you know, any of those things. So whatever you have, you can do that passively on your own and then make this extra money too. Okay, you're, you're not taking a risk here because he's not a risk taker. He goes after what he wants and he's prepared. He keeps his eyes open. But this is the Midas touch. So any offers and opportunities presenting themselves here, walk through those doors with confidence. You've got it, Cancer. You've got, you've got a great team here. And you are a great team player. With the Three of Pentacles, that's all about taking your time to learn something. Teamwork. Okay, maybe you're going to be joining a team of people where they're going to be teaching a new skill or something new to add to your job, something that this job involves that maybe you weren't doing at your other job. It could be that. But definitely you're getting together with someone here or a team who supports you and you're both going for the same outcome and goal. Okay, this is collaboration, but staying determined and being dedicated and paying attention here with quality attention to the details. Now, some of you here could be taking, um, maybe you're taking a trade of some sort, some sort of a course where you need a credit. I mean, the world, we know in our world, we need more tra tradespeople for sure. So some of you could be doing that. As I said, this is not for everybody, <clears throat> but you're going to get recognized for what you do and your skills that you have and your expertise on your resume is going to take notice. So you might be getting that job you want. The star. Yeah, again, right? So it's all about hope and getting recognition and being inspired and creative and going after what you want. This is brand new renewal energy coming into you. So have faith. You could also be going through a healing of some sort right now. Rejuvenation. We talked about it here with take back your power, taking care of your needs now. Okay. <clears throat> so beautiful, beautiful energy here for this month. Yes. Let's see what we have here for your final outcome card here with this gifts again <clears throat> six of cups beautiful card give and take push pull energy bargaining bartering negotiations talking back and forth about something and it may have to do with money so you could be in the process of negotiating here something here where maybe you are taking on a new job or a new position or maybe you're going to the bank because you want to take out a, a loan and maybe you're signing a you know a short-term loan or bridging financing which means you're going to get it but it's you know you don't have to worry about it it's going to be covered so this is you know this is back and forth energy this is negotiations. This is push-pull energy. And this is also receiving a gift from somebody of generosity. So maybe you're receiving something here. Maybe it's going to be an inheritance. Or maybe somebody says, I want to pay you for something that you did that you didn't expect you to be, be paid for. You didn't even ask for. And they're going to insist that you get it. So in return, you're going to do them an extra favor or something. So beautiful, beautiful card. And that's being a team player. That's what this is all about. So great reading, my beautiful... Uh, my beautiful Cancer. So I think you're going to be taking your power back. I think there's some things coming in here and offers and options that are going to present themselves this month. Um, you're going to be passionate and happy about something here, okay? Don't back down on something. If you've been determined to go after something this month, whatever it is, stay focused and keep going for it, okay? Well, I wish you a great week, a great month, a great day. And always know, I send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful Cancers.